Good morning, class. Uh, we shall be talking about desserts today. And I, th I know when you see the term dessert, uh, what comes into your mind is? Dungwa? Dungwa, you are unmuted from my side. Maybe it's because you are using headphones. Yes, it is sweet foods. It is sweet foods uh, that um, we eat as the end of the meal. It is the last course of a meal before the beverage. And um, we have uh, all manner of desserts. So desserts are not known all over the world. Like uh, in Africa and uh, some parts of Asia, like in China, they do not uh, traditionally have desserts on their menu. Otherwise, most uh, in the European countries and uh, in America, dessert is a common place in their meals. So we shall be looking at uh, different types of desserts and uh, maybe how uh, each one of them is made. I uh, will share my screen with you so that I can show you the, uh, my, uh, some uh, my notes. Okay, sorry about that. It, it took quite some time uh, before it could start sharing. Um, so, uh, we say desserts are a course that includes uh, concludes a meal, the last course of a meal, that is. And they, are, they usually consist of sweet foods, such as confections, be, uh, sweet beverages like dessert wines, and uh, sweet liqueurs. And then it may also include uh, other things like fruits and nuts, cheeses, uh, depending on uh, how much you have compressed the classical menu sequence. I am sure you have tackled the classical menu sequence with uh, your service teacher, where we talk of the 17 courses of a meal, and uh, cheese is uh, number 13. Okay, so then uh, the, the we can see that in some parts, uh, like, like uh, in uh, Central and Western Africa, and most parts of China, there is no tradition of a dessert course to conclude a meal. Actually, in Africa, the whole of Africa, we do not have the tradition of a dessert. It is something very new to us. The term dessert can apply to many things, like uh, all other confections, like biscuits, cakes, cookies, uh, custards, uh, ice creams, pastries, all those. Okay. So we shall be looking at each one of them. Uh, so types of desserts, we can actually be able to divide them into several groups, almost 10 of them. So uh, we say they consist of various flavors, uh, textures, and appearances. They can be defined as a usually sweeter course that concludes a meal. So the first type of a dessert is biscuits or cookies. Biscuits can also be served as snacks with, a, 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 I mean, a beverage like some juice or even tea or coffee. Uh, in, uh, in even in the seventh in the classical uh, menu sequence, so they have a, uh, the biscuits have a texture that is crispy, chewy, and soft. They may include layered bars, crispy meringues, and so, uh, soft chocolate chip cookies layered bars are like th those biscuits in uh, which uh, they, they look like a sandwich and in the middle they have a cream inside like strawberry creams and vanilla creams uh, you might find them in the supermarket i'm a dot creams i'm sure you have seen them in the supermarket then we have uh, cakes cakes also are, uh, we have a lot of uh, different kinds of cakes we have the angels food cake the devil's food cake the pound cakes all manner of cakes will be seen under this um, course, um, um, uh, under this uh, class. So we have, uh, like for events like weddings, 
cake is always served as dessert and of course it is themed you can see the decorations of the cake trying to depict that it is a wedding day uh, for the couple sorry um about that then we have chocolate and candies chocolates and candies chocolates are, are sweet usually brown or white depending on the kind like we have uh, milk chocolates we have dark chocolates and we also have the white chocolates okay white chocolates are made from uh, cocoa butter and uh, milk generally you don't you uh, in this case you don't use the powder it's uh, the, the cocoa powder itself because uh, of course it is going to get to make the 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 white chocolate to be uh, dark so we say it contains uh, uh, cocoa butter sugar and milk all right dark chocolate is produced by adding fat and sugar to the cacao mixture with no milk or much less uh, milk chocolate much less than milk chocolate so dark chocolate is the chocolate that we call cooking chocolate or covacha let me uh, write that Covacha. yes so that is dark chocolate it is mostly used for cooking uh sweet dishes and for decorating like uh, garnishing you can get chocolate vermicelli uh and uh strings from dark chocolate you just use a, a mandolin to pull it and to give you uh whatever it is that you want okay so then we have candy sorry we have candy candy of course are sweets that are actually is sugar that is caramelized with flavors and color examples of uh, candy ni tropical mint uh, lollipops and such other things that you know so you actually caramelize the sugar okay other candies that we have include uh, caramel you are currently marshmallow the person in this conference and toffee toffee or toffee okay then we have uh, other types of uh, desserts we have custards and puddings and of course custard and, uh, and puddings are those where you use eggs milk and sugar whipped together and uh thicken, i mean then you can you may thicken with uh, starches uh wherever uh, they are needed examples of this we have uh egg uh, baked egg custard and puddings we have bread and butter pudding cabinet pudding queen of puddings and christmas pudding we also have rice pudding We have rice puddings. Then we have uh, like for, for puddings, you use the egg custard mixture. That is the beaten egg, milk, and sugar. And then you pour it over either your bread, uh, your buttered bread with sultanas, or your uh, cubed cakes with sultanas. You pour over the, the mixture and then you bake in the oven with uh, in a steam oven or in a pan of water so that it does not uh, grow very uh, dry okay yes um, so that is uh, puddings then we have uh, deep fried desserts and uh, under deep fried desserts the most common that we know around here are donuts and fritters fritters are actually from uh, fruit based you may do apple fritters you may do uh, pineapple fritters or banana fritters where you make a pancake but a thick pancake butter and then you dip your fruit your your, uh, your peeled and chopped fruit into the butter and then you deep fry donuts are made from um, flour sugar butter and uh, milk and then you leave it to rise and then you cut into do uh, nuts and then you you deep fry that is uh, donuts then we have frozen desserts frozen desserts are those that uh, generally you make by freezing for example you can make ice cream from egg yolks and you can also make uh, ice cream from just milk and uh, uh, the, the the difference is 
that ice cream has egg yolks while gelato does not have egg, egg, egg uh, I mean egg yolks so th that is the biggest difference so that's actually a course in the classical menu sequence number seven but it is actually a uh, frozen uh sweetened and flavored juices or water so you can do fruit juice like orange juice and then you freeze it uh, and then you serve it as a as a sorbet then we have gelatin desserts or set desserts sorry we have uh, gelatin or set uh, desserts So here we are actually looking at desserts that have a, free, a fruit uh, puree base that has been set by mixing it with a uh, leaf or powdered gelatin as well as other enriching ingredients and then refrigerated uh, into a jelly-like consistency. Examples of these are uh, mousses, parfaits, and bavaroise. Bavaroise. Yes, so those are uh, set desserts or gelatin based desserts then we have jelled desserts jelled desserts are made with a sweetened liquid thickened with gelatin or other thickening agents a sweetened liquid thickened with gelatin or another thickening agent and of course uh, there is a very thin line between jelled desserts and set desserts for example we can actually do uh, a banana in jelly so you make your jelly and then set the banana i mean put bananas into a bowl and pour the jelly mixture and then you you, you refrigerate or chill a little so that the gel uh, the jelly can set and then you can be able to see your bananas from uh, uh under the uh the jelly so that is banana in jelly you can also use other fruit jellies you can also make other fruit jellies then we have pastries Pastries are sweet baked pastry products. So, like here, we are looking at flans and tarts. Flans and tarts. And of course, uh, we have um, fillings of different kinds that you can put in. For example, you can do a fruit flan, you can do a kiwi flan, you can do a banana flan, you can do uh, fruit tarts of, of all kinds. Uh, you can uh, add uh, fruit, chocolate, nuts, and uh, spices in the making of uh, these uh, sweet pastries. And of course, they, the, the, the method uh, mostly used in the making of uh, flans and tarts is blind baking. Blind baking is a, common, a, a popular method of uh, preparing, of making flans and tarts. So those are the uh, pastries. And then we have pies, cobblers, and clafutis. Pies, cobblers, and clafutis. Uh, pies and cobblers are a class with a filling. So generally, they, they, there's a thin line between pastries and pies. Only that uh, most of the times pies are, um, are covered on the top. Like there's a pastry cover on top i mean on top of the filling so that is the uh, the, the, the difference so they, they can the crust can either be made from either a pastry or crumbs and pie fillings range from fruits to puddings and cobbler fillings are generally fruit based so crafotis generally have uh, a fruit base either fruits cut into small pieces or pureed yes then we have uh, sweet sweet soups I'm sorry. Sweet soups here. We have uh, soups that actually are made using uh, like uh, water and sugar and maybe uh, fl other flavors, maybe fruit flavors. The or person in this conference. And of course, the uh, sweet soups tend to always give uh, a very good uh, flavor and uh, they will just be taken like a, like a drink, like a beverage. And finally, we have dessert wines. Dessert wines are sweet wines typically served with dessert, and there is no simple definition of a dessert wine. Okay, um, they may be considered to be any sweet wine drunk with a meal. So, so like we have all sweet wines, whether they are pink, whether white, or red, 
they are uh, dessert wine. Okay. Uh, some people will uh, actually go for the dessert wine and actually uh, forgo the dessert itself. So the, the desserts uh, are supposed to be served with wine, but most people might actually go for the wine and uh, leave the dessert out. Others will eat the dessert and forfeit the wine. So those are the desserts. The, the most common uh, methods of making the dessert, I mean, the, uh, preparing the dessert are when you actually make the dessert on its own. Okay, you can make the, the filling uh, separately and the pastry separately. So for example, uh, for tarts and some flans, like flans that use uh, fruits like the kiwi and the banana, you cannot uh, uh, bake the fruit inside, otherwise it will look, uh, it will turn color and look very bad. So you actually blind bake. And uh, blind baking means you actually roll your pastry that is the sweet pastry. You roll it and uh, uh, line your pastry, the, the, the ring, the, the flan ring with the paste, such that it takes the shape of the flan ring. And then you add something like uh, dry beans or dry maize to make uh, to make sure that the walls of the of the pastry are not going to uh, to fall in. The, the, the beans and the maize are generally meant to support the pastry. Uh, you bake it for around 15 minutes in the oven, then you remove it and remove all the beans and maize, uh, cool them and pull, I mean, uh, preserve them for the next uh, maybe baking uh, of uh, tarts. Then after you get now the, 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 the baked ring, you add a sauce, a sweet sauce inside, and then set your bananas or your flan, I mean, your kiwi slices, and you get your your kiwi flan or your banana flan. So you, you might be uh, cooking the pastry uh, uh, on its own and the, and the filling on its own. Then we may also have uh, others where you actually bake the two together, like uh, uh, apple flan and apple pies. You just put, I mean, uh, make uh, the, the pastry, uh, line the tin, then put in the apples and uh, cover for the pie. And then for the flan, uh, apple flan, you just uh, 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 line the tin with the pastry, then add the tomato, the, the apple puree, and then slice, to, uh, I mean, layer sliced apples on top, and then you bake. So the pastry is raw and the apples are also raw so you cook them together okay yeah so then that that is it and uh it is most important that you understand that desserts uh come in uh all manners then we also have uh, fruit desserts uh fruit based desserts and in uh, fruit based desserts we are looking at uh, either fruit cuts fruit cuts uh, fruit based desserts so we have uh... here we have fruit cuts all fruit and fruit salads okay not that fruits fruit uh, juices are not actually under uh, fruit desserts but uh, they are actually under beverages so that is when uh, we are not going to add them here we also have fruit uh, fruit coolies and components all those are fruit-based desserts that you may actually have there. But we also say that fruits can also be used as bases for the other types of, uh, of, of uh, desserts that we talked about here. Like we can have uh, cakes with fruit, like uh, uh, banana, I mean, pineapple upside down. We have uh, orange cake. We have passion fruit cake and such. 
Then we also have um, other pastries like uh, the pastries and the jelly dessert. They also may be using fruit purees. And of course, that, that, may, that makes the fruit uh, a base. So those are generally uh, the desserts that we have. And uh, th that I think, if, unless you, maybe you have any questions, uh, Sharon, uh, maybe we, we shall be talking about the production. You can ask a question. No question, really? Okay, be, let me then be, be the one to ask questions. Um, so now uh, the desserts, wh wh how, uh, what is the difference between a custard and a pudding? What is the difference between a custard and a pudding? I'm waiting for your answer, uh, Sharon. Okay, we said that a custard is a mixture of beaten egg, milk, and sugar whisked together, then strained onto a baking dish and baked with. Uh, I mean, on a pan of hot water inside the oven. Yes, so we have the, like the baked the baked egg custard as a as a dessert on its own. Then puddings are generally a custard with another uh, ingredient. For example, we can do rice pudding where we actually use uh, rice and the egg custard mixture. And then you bake in the same same way as the, the way you bake for the baked egg custard. We have bread and butter pudding where we uh, spread our bread with butter and then place it on sultanas and then layer, uh, I mean, sultanas in the middle. And then we pour the egg custard mixture and bake in the oven using steamed, uh, I mean, I mean, using the steam from the hot water pan inside the oven. Did you now get the difference? The custard is not really thick, uh, really just being thickened by the egg. It is uh, the uh, it is uh, the egg, the milk, and the sugar. So of course, the egg here is the one that will thicken the mixture or bind it. Pudding starch. Pudding starch um, may mean like maybe if you're using bread and I uh, mean bread and butter, bread is the starch. Sometimes you may even thicken the custard using uh, maybe arrowroot flour or corn flour. If you feel that maybe the consistency is not, uh, I mean, is not to your liking, you may add uh, custard powder in the, in the mixture so that it will thicken uh, the way you want it to thicken. Pudding starch can actually be those custard powders that you know, and also corn flour. If you use corn flour and uh, a flavor and color, it will still give you a custard powder. We have made a uh, custard sauce in the in the in the kitchen severally. So when we use custard powder, milk, and sugar. Uh, then it means the custard powder already has the cornstarch and the color and the flavor inside there. But if you don't have custard powder, that, that does not mean you cannot make a custard sauce. If you have corn flour and you have uh, vanilla essence and uh, color, like color yellow, egg yellow, you can actually be able to make custard sauce. Any questions?
Okay, not uh, you don't have any other questions. So then I think uh, we are going to look at the the production of desserts. What methods of cooking can we use for uh, desserts? Uh, okay, so some desserts are going to be steamed. Like uh, when we are cooking inside the, that oven with a pan of hot water inside the oven, what we are doing is actually steaming uh, the dessert. So custards and puddings are mostly steamed, but inside the oven with a, a pan of hot water. Then we can also bake desserts like cakes, uh, pies, fruits, uh, fruits, I mean fruit flans and uh, tarts are uh, generally baked in the oven where you just put them in the, I mean, you put the mixture in the cavity of the heated oven and uh, it gets heated, I mean, co it conducts it from the air inside the oven and gets cooked. There's, we also have those that actually are not cooked at all. We just either freeze or, or just set. For example, uh, fruit, uh, mousses, Bavarois and uh, parfaits, we say that they are set desserts where you just maybe um, start by cooking the maybe maybe the, the milk, you boil it to kill bacteria and chill it and then mix it with the rest of the ingredients and that is gelatin and other enriching uh, ingredients and then you set in the fridge and uh, serve cold. So those are either chilled or frozen desserts. For um, ice creams and uh, I mean mostly ice creams, you have to cook your egg yolk over a, a hot water bath first while uh, whisking with a little water, whisking uh, very briskly. And then once that is done and it has started thickening, that is when now you start adding the milk and the cream. And then cream is supposed to be added in an ice cream making machine, which, which is actually very cold and keeps on turning or uh, uh, rotating the cream and mixing it up with the rest of the ingredients and also making air spaces and makes it look the way it looks after uh, it has been frozen. Okay, so we have frozen, uh, those that are frozen and those that are uh, chilled. So generally the, ma the main methods of making desserts are or rather the, the methods of cooking that we use in desserts are steaming, baking, and deep frying. And also shallow frying for uh, crepes. Uh, crepes are pancakes. Okay. Do you, do you have any questions on uh, methods of cooking of desserts? Any methods? So, uh, uh, production of desserts, uh, Sharon, is um, generally what we are talking about. We said that you can actually have uh, different methods of uh, making the, the desserts. Like you can uh, steam, where we steam custards and puddings and souffles where the mixtures are baked in the oven of a pan of hot water that gathers steam inside the oven. Then you can bake by, uh, by making cakes, cookies, biscuits, pies, cobblers, cobblers, flans, and tarts. We can also boil when making chocolates and candies, and also in the making of uh, the sabayon for the ice cream. Then uh, we set for jellies, mousses, bava bavarois. I'm sorry, I've not shared. So uh, we were saying you can steam for cook uh, for custards, puddings, and souffles, uh, where the mixture is baked in the oven of a pan of hot water. Then baking uh, can uh, can be done for 
cakes, cookies, biscuits, pies, and cobblers, flans, and tarts. You can boil for uh, in the making of chocolates and candies. And uh, now setting is used for jellies, mousses, bavaroys, and parfaits. And freezing is used for ice cream, gelatos, and uh, sorbets. Gelatos are those eggless ice creams, the ones that do not have uh, the base of a of an egg yolk. So uh, that is uh, generally production of desserts. And you know that desserts are not eaten in large uh, quantities. So we have, uh, they have to be done in very small uh, des uh, amounts and then decorated, decorated uh, attractively to make sure that the customer's palate is, um, uh, the, the customer's palate is uh, very uh, enticed. So that is generally uh, the the topic of dessert. I might want to show you a number of uh, desserts right here. Sorry, I forgot to share the screen. Um, so we have different types of desserts here. You can see the presentations are quite interesting. Uh, look at this uh, here is a is a appetite for of a, a cookie topped with cream and uh, blueberries on top we have some cake that is layered and um with a, a, a light layer of ganache and uh, a piped cream on top there look at this one here that looks like the g clef in the music class yeah it is a, a cheesecake and uh, with uh, ganache on top and that, that signature right there. Then we have another, another cookie right there with cream and a strawberry on top. We have uh, uh, different kinds of cakes here. All uh, cakes here that uh, whose um, tops have been covered with this ganache. Ganache is, I mean, uh, boiled cream with uh, chocolate and then of course when you pour it it, it, it becomes very smooth and then uh, uh, dries up on top of the of the dessert we have uh, like this one this is a stencil you use uh, like uh, a stencil and uh, with uh, where you apply every other place is applied with cream and then the middle is left with a heart right there. So we have uh, all manner of desserts. We can also have these ones here. Uh, these are chocolates with uh, nuts inside. This is actually uh, chocolate fudge with uh, nuts inside. We have uh, others here. We have a pie. We have uh, an asorbet, or uh, this could also be an ice cream scoop that is topped with cream and some two cherries on top there so generally uh, when you're offering your desserts you make sure that they look very appetizing for your client look at this here this one here these are layered biscuits and uh with some cream inside and some more cream and uh raspberries on top okay uh, we can also see these ones here these are all manner of uh cakes cupcakes with uh different toppings on top here we have a, a, a cookie with sprinkles on top we also have we can also see these ones here uh look at those that cake 
it has been decorated and uh, each and every piece has ha has a piping of cream and a cherry on top. So that is generally how you are able you are supposed to uh, give your um, desserts. Okay, look at this one here. Uh, that is uh, on a plate. We have a a flat uh, digestive biscuit and a ball of uh, caged chocolate. I mean, a chocolate cage with uh, the filling of cream and uh, another uh, baby fudge mixture inside there, and some mint. I can see some mint inside there. So we can look at such desserts. Let me see this one. Okay, okay. Even these ones are still desserts that are uh, uh, that are actually uh, portions for each. And I mean, one portion. Uh, cuts and they are garnished individually as you can see yeah so that is generally how you make your uh, how you present your desserts they have to look appetizing and each and every customer's portion must be decorated individually so i think and unless you have we have any questions Okay, uh, it's okay. I, I can see you're saying your microphone is not working. Uh, it's okay as long as you are you, you have earphones on, you may not be able to get me. I mean to to speak, but it's okay. So we come to the end of our topic today. Unless maybe you have any questions, uh, Sharon. Okay, then uh, then we can continue. 